Marley is feeling loads better and she won a trophy this morning at her dance competition. I couldn't be prouder. Manly missed it as he forgot the date, but he is on his way now at least. I mean, for me, it's a good thing that he's not here because there's no awkwardness in the air. But obviously for her, I would have hoped that he would be here because she wanted him here and whatever she wants, I want. So it is disappointing, but it is what it is. I don't think it should be my job to remind Manly after I tell him when and where to be. If we moved up north, we would have to be a lot more organised about arrangements. When Malia called me on the phone, yeah, she was a, sounded a bit disappointed when like, she asked me where I was. Just a bit disappointed that Mia didn't ring me and remind me this morning. She knows I would have been there from the start, but can't really blame her, can I? It's my own fault for forgetting. Hey, little chick. How are you? Good. You OK? Yeah. I know Malia wants us to be friends, but the best we can do right now is stay on different sides of the room and not row. You look amazing, you do. Enjoying yourself? Marley is dancing her heart out. And I'm glad her dad's here to see it, for her sake. I'm still here by myself. I don't think she's going to care if I lose. So proud of you, okay? Brilliant. See you soon, alright? Manly is gone. That was short and sweet. We'll have to go pick up Megan and the baby. The baby's got a doctor's appointment. I think she was just happy that I turned up. Obviously got to see her. Got to see our trophies and that. Today has had some real highs and some lows. Obviously, Marley has migraines, but she got on with it. She did it. She is like a... Do you know what I mean? Obviously, Manly turned up for a little bit. And obviously, when I think about moving to Middlesbrough, he won't just be able to pop into things like that. But I will have to make a big effort for Malia to come down. And I do need to have a conversation with him about it. But the communication is that bad, I literally can't. Like, so I'm just going to wait until things are more set in stone, see what happens, and go from there. Me, I can climb higher. Today's the day. We're moving out of Beth's and back into our old house. Right, so I need to take that. She's away on holiday, and I've promised to be out by the time she gets home. Yeah, I felt a bit like, ooh, you know, like, a bit weird, like, packing my stuff up and actually bringing it out of the house. I think it's a bit more easier that Beth's not actually there at the minute. Now. As much as I have loved staying at best, it's also been very, very stressful having all those kids in one house. I'm not going to miss that, if I'm honest, and I don't think Beth's going to miss it either. Bye, bye. The time needed to come sooner rather than later. I feel like me and Beth was like starting to like annoy each other, I think. But now we can just go back to normal.
The council have said my old house is safe again, but after two months of being away, it almost doesn't feel like my home anymore. All I can think about now I'm walking in the door is the near-death experience we had. I remember that night, I just went upstairs and as I came down, I just got this big whiff of gas. I remember ringing the emergency number on the actual gas monitor machine thing. And then they came out and that's when it kind of escalated from there. Next minute, me, the boys, and my mum. We're all in hospital on gas tanks and just a scary feeling. This is the current situation. I remember the gas man saying that we were lucky to be alive. Who wants to hear that? Especially when it involves your children. But we're here now, and I've got to make the best of it. Today I need to just get things a little bit back to normal, you know, like it's literally like cobweb central here and dust central. The boys are going to be sleeping here tonight, so I want to make it as comfortable and as natural and stuff like that as I can for us all. Even though I don't want to be here, like, as in this house, I feel lucky that I am here still. You know, we've got a roof over our heads, so we have to be grateful for that because, you know, there's some people out there who don't. And I've got two beautiful children who are happy, healthy and fine, and that's all that matters to me. 